Hi guys, it's your girl Jessie Q and welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing something really fun. You guys know that I've been working on, uh, you know, just little updates here and there in my bedroom. And today we're finally going to be doing my chest of drawers. Now, you know, it wasn't a bad chest of drawers, but it really just wasn't matching up to all the updates I was doing in the rest of the bedroom. So now it's finally time to do that. I am really excited about this and I hope you guys like it as well. Before we get into today's video, please do not forget to hit that subscribe button down below and also hit the bell icon so that you can be notified every time that I post. And if this is your first time watching a video on my channel, hey, welcome to the Jessica family. You are now a cutie. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Okay guys, so we are going to begin and I'm just showing you guys what the chest of drawers look like before. As you can see, you know, it's pretty banged up, it's pretty uh, broken up and it's old, but that is why we are doing this um, DIY. So these are the materials that I'm going to be using for this. As you can see, I have everything laid out here. And the first thing that you want to do is take some kind of brush or hand broom like I'm using and just wipe down the entire chest of drawers you don't want it to have any cobwebs or any um, dust or anything like that you want it to be nice and clean so you can get a nice smooth finish while painting so I got this paint brush from home and garden that is located in San Juan but you could probably get one from a hardware store and you can see I'm using this Sissons price buster paint this is the paint I've been using for a lot of my other DIYs guys it still isn't finished yet <laughs> so this is what I'm going in with here and I want to get the paint between all the cracks of my chest of drawers as well just to make sure that it's nice and even I'm taking my time while doing this just to make sure it's painted really well and I am going to have to do another coat just because it is very thin right so if you choose to use a different type of paint that is probably a paint and primer in one then you would not have to do this step you could probably just do one coat and then be done so this is me painting here and what I also want to do is remove the drawers so that I can get the front face of the chest of drawers. I want to make sure everything is painted so nothing looks like it's missing. I want it to have a very nice, you know, even and neat finish to it. So I'm going to do this and I'm also going to paint the other three faces of this chest of drawers and this is what it looked like now that everything has been painted. Yes, I know the back looks a bit streaky here but it actually dried really neat and tidy so I'm glad for that. Now I'm going to paint the drawers and this is what the drawers look like now that they've been painted. I've done two coats on that as well. These are the little balls that I have. I don't know if you guys remember that. Uh, office DIY that I did or office makeover these are the balls I had for decoration so I'm not repurposing them and I'm just attaching them to some thread so that I can spray them while vertical and I'm using my same spray paint that I've been using you guys know my aesthetic by now I love this silver spray paint so I'm spraying all of them in silver and leaving them to dry that is what I'm going to be using for the nubs of my chest of drawers but we'll get back to that later now it's time to do the pattern on the drawer and I'm using this thin masking tape I think this is probably a one inch masking tape and I'm just doing my drawers and I'm taking my time here guys one because I don't want my paint to peel off remember this is fresh paint and two because I want to make sure that my drawers are neat and that they are even in the uh, pattern that I'm going to do. So I'm taking my time and doing my pattern and guys, yes, I know my hair looks horrible. I need to color it. I just haven't gotten the time. So I've done it to the two short drawers and one of the long drawers and I have spray painted it as you can see and we leave that to dry. Now it's time to attach the knobs and I'm using my UHU or you know I like to call it UHU glue to attach them. What I suggest is that you take some screws and actually uh, 
carry send it inside of the balls and then attach them to the drawers properly but i must say that it worked well with just the glue alone once i left it to dry for a significant amount of time if you prefer you can also choose to use something a bit stronger like e6000 glue but the who worked for me so I'm attaching it and just taping it down to make sure that it sticks properly and it stays well and giving that some time to dry and don't forget to do it also to the other drawers that are at the side. And this is what the final chest of drawers looks like. I am so pleased with how it turned out. It looks very nice and very appealing and I'm so happy with how everything turned out and it wasn't that hard guys wasn't that awesome i think it came out so good i'm in love oh my gosh i'm in love guys thank you so much for checking out this video i hope you guys really liked it as much as i did i do have some more bedroom uh updates coming i just have to plan them out well because these are some bigger ones i have to make sure i have all the raw materials and those kind of things that i need but i promise you it's going to be really good when i get to it i promise you <laughs> guys please let me know in the comments down below how you felt about this video if you like it and also if you think there's anything else that i should probably try i would love to know and i love it when you guys are interactive with me until next time Namaste, babies.